Good morning, YouTube. Okay, the lighting is gonna be weird because we're doing a vlog. I can't remember the last time I did a vlog. And this is 100% inspired by Burgess Taylor. Um, yeah, she did a video this week for her Patreon community and it like inspired me like, whoa. So she is going through her studio space and organizing and redoing everything. I will put the link to her Patreon if you guys wanna check her out. She is, I really love her videos. They are long and rambly in the best kind of way. I feel like you get to be a part of her brain as she processes things. It's amazing. So I don't have a studio. I live in a small little cottage and um, so at first when I was watching it, I was like, I really need to clean up all my art stuff. And I realized I have studio space. It just consists of a cabinet, a shelf, and a bag that sits at the couch. So we're gonna clean all that stuff out together. And you know, I totally had to go with the braided pigtails to bring in the Burgess energy. Yeah. I love it. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so to start this, I fi figured that I should show you my studio spaces. This is the cabinet. It's a disaster. Candles mixed in with journals, mixed in with, this is for, a, my son's doing a craft, so I'm saving cool looking wine bottles. Yeah, so this is one space we're gonna clean out. This is the before, I'll show you the after. Now let's go look at the shelf. Okay. This is the little shelf right there, not the top one. The top one is books and homeschooling and grandbaby stuff. This is part of my studio, part of my studio space. So it's messy. I actually really need to go through this bag. Most of this stuff I don't use that often, but we're gonna go through it all and clean it all up. Maybe I'll um, take you guys along as I do that because I need to simplify. I need to get rid of some art stuff that I know no longer really resonates, but yeah. So this is where we're starting. And then you guys of course have seen the couch bag. It stays next to the coffee table. It holds all my current stuff that I use on a daily basis. So we're gonna go through that too. We got a lot to do. I'm excited though, excited and inspired. Okay, so first we have the art bag and we're just gonna you know what first I'm gonna pull out all these little bags and go through those because I have no idea really what's in them there's also books this is my current year is that right yes this is my current word book this is an empty notebook we're, I'm just gonna move things around garbage all right, let's pull out Look at all these bags. I do love these. Um, they're called Blue Q bags. Spare tarot bag. Um, all right, laptop charger does not go in there. Post-it notes, lots and lots of post-it notes that a friend sent me, so excited about. There, I think there's another one in here. Yep, post-its. Okay, more bags full of stuff. Pens. I'm like, wait, am I recording? This I need because this is part of a poetry collection that I'm gonna be working on. So we're gonna leave that out. More art stuff, glue sticks. All right, now a charger, mushroom charger. Does not need to be in there. Does not need to be in there. What else do we have? A tarot deck. Actually, I think this is my journaling. If you guys were part of my Patreon community in 2022, I created a whole deck of cards just full of journaling prompts and every Monday I pulled one. So all of that back history is there. If you guys are interested in joining my Patreon, I'll put that link down below. Um, I'll just give you an example. I give my, myself permission to say yes to, you fill in the blank. So every Monday we pulled a journaling card and that was the prompt. 
Okay, then I have extra journals. This is another journal. So these don't go in here. They need to go in the cabinet because my cabinet holds all the unused journals. Then we have post-its. We have stickers. This is a friendship journal that I found. My granddaughter ran away with it and I stumbled on it the other day. So I'm excited to start working in this. So this is actually gonna go in my couch bag. So we're gonna move that over there. Where do I want the journaling deck? I think the journaling deck will stay in the bag. Post-its. You see, I, um, this is an empty box. Let me just double check it doesn't have anything in it. This was what, when my pens came in? Yeah, okay, so we're gonna keep the converter. I don't need the box. The box, not keeping boxes. Okay, here's a, another, another empty journal. Garbage. There was something else that was garbage right there. We may get interrupted by dogs, if so, forgive me, and I'll just hit record again. All right, what else is in here? We have, I love these things. These are pen loops um, that you can add to planners, journals. I go through them. I love them so much. So I think that needs to stay. This is an old journal I found of my, it's actually my daughter was keeping quotes that she liked and when she moved out, somehow this ended up being overlooked and it was under the bed. So I need to put this with her stuff. So that has a place that it needs to go and I need to start a different stack. Let's put that here. Okay. This is where I keep my found words. I keep like clippings for found poetry and more glue sticks. So that I'm keeping in the bag. I'm actually gonna put it back because it fits perfectly in this side pocket right there. I can't remember where I got this bag. It's a 31 bag. I think I got it from my sister. Index cards. These will come in handy when I'm writing, but they don't need to be in there. So we're gonna put it with the poetry book. All right, and then I have my onions. No, this is not an onion skin. This is a moleskin that I didn't even realize I had. It's the thicker paper. All right, so again, this needs to go in the empty, the blank journals. All right, I think the bag. Oh, we've got Koi watercolors, which I'm tempted not to keep actually. I think I might pass that along to my daughter. So we'll put giveaway or put away right there. Chapstick, Energel does not need to be in there, so I'll put those with pens. Okay. Now all we have in the bag is the found words, and then this is multi-purpose reusable smudge proof transfer paper. I do love working with this. On occasion, it's really, it really comes in handy if I'm trying to do like a self-portrait. Um, there was an artist, what is her name? I feel like it's Tammy, but that doesn't sound right. She does self-portraits using those, and that's where I learned about it, and I love it. Okay, in this, we have all of my um, Prisma colors and colored pencils. I do still use those on occasion. I haven't been using them lately, but we're going to put that in the side, the other side pocket right there. Okay, now comes, oh wait. We also have photos. These are, these are older photos. Did I not do? All right, we're gonna, we're gonna put this with the family stuff. I gotta figure out what to do with those. All right, I'm gonna keep the glue sticks. I'm gonna put those in one of the pockets there so they're easy to find and I'm not digging in looking for them. All right, let's see what's in these pouches. I want to actually empty this one because I really want to use it um, with my study book. So I have, I have more tarot. These are for studies that I do. Um, 
Yeah, okay, so this has to stay. Maybe I, you know what, let's do this. There we go. I am working through, oh my gosh, tarot for, not tarot for yourself. I'm working through, it's a big, thick, I love it. What's it called? I can't see it from here. And I use those in that book. So we're gonna keep that in the tarot bag. More glue sticks and eraser. That's for a Bic and lead. All right, I gotta figure out where that goes. Huh. And we have a watercolor crayon, which goes in the couch bag. This is like my go-to. I use this almost every day. It's got my watercolor, my Neocolor 2s, a glue stick, a pencil, a water brush. I use that, that stays with me. All right, so now let's see what we're gonna do with these glue sticks because I don't need all of those hanging out and about. So can I put them back in here is the question. Will they stay put? It looks like it. Okay, there we go. All right, so now I have this ready to use with my study book. I've had this thing forever. It's got a stain on it. I love it though. All right, moving on. We also have the Hobonichi bag. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this. Maybe I'll put all the post-its in that. I also have this tab maker that I never use because I prefer to use like junk mail and stuff like that for tabs. I'm gonna see if my daughter wants that. Put that there. Okay, let's see what's in this bag. I'm scared to look because I just stuff things. Okay, so in here, we have a mechanical pencil, my Peerless watercolors, which are nice for traveling. So I'm gonna put that in the little, this little bin. Oh, I also have a crystal that I found in the pocket. I'm, I'm gonna keep that in there. I have some Patreon fun stuff that came from Art Chew, I think. Um, I'm gonna set that aside because I'm gonna put that in my couch bag with the other Patreon stuff. Avery stickers that I use in my Hobonichi Weeks. So I'm gonna put that in one of the pockets. A pen, another pen loop. This one my patrons sent me, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna sit that down with the other pen loop stuff. Recta rectangular labels. I don't really use these, but I feel like I should keep them because I feel like if I, as soon as I get rid of them, I'm gonna think of something to use them for. I used to label my journals with them. Is my camera falling? I feel like it's falling. Um, but now I put all the journals from one year in a bag. All right, let's see if I can fix this. All right. Like, is it staying still? Okay. Then, oh, that didn't work. Okay, I'm gonna have to fix this off your back. Okay, let's try this again. And Heather is debating, do I edit that out or do I leave it in? Um, Post-it card, postcard, a love garden tarot card, randomly. Okay, I think all of these need to go, they need to be used somewhere. Okay, what, let's see here. This is a very old coupon from my son for a crepe date when he was itty bitty. All right, and then we have all kinds of Patreon um, goodies that I have not figured out what to use them for. Mandy Thompson, we have Brie, we have uh, postcards from Brie. They're just so stunning. I have to figure out, maybe I could, okay, I just got an idea. What if I made like a little journal out of all the postcards? That could be fun. No, I don't know how that's gonna work. I gotta figure out something. So that's what was in that bag. Plus an envelope with some stickers. Okay, I'm gonna leave this out because I will be using these. All right, those, this needs to be with my couch bag. This needs to go somewhere. All right, let me think about that. Again, 
You guys could put this on like double the time because it's it's gonna be a while. Um, my Ecoline markers, I'm going to put those in the bag. I don't use those as often as I did last year, but I still love them. All right, let's see if we can, yeah, that works. All right, so one bag's empty, which is awesome. Let's see if we can empty another bag. That feels like markers. I'm like, I'm not ready for markers yet. Let's see what else we got. Post-its. Okay, I'm actually gonna move the post-its. This is why am I, my video keeps getting interrupted. Okay, this is why for my things I'm not buying, post-it notes go on there because I have a ton, I have a ton. But I'm gonna move them because I like seeing the empty bags. Um, I'm gonna move them into the Hobonichi bag because currently I have no idea what I'm gonna store in that. Um, this came with, I think I actually got two of them and I think I gave one away, I, I don't remember. All right, we're putting all the post-its in here because yeah, I don't know what else to use this bag for at the moment. All right, and I'm gonna, let's see here, all these, I'm telling you, your girl has a post-it problem. All right, but I do use them. I use them for like everything. Okay. All the post-its. All right, we're gonna put that in there. <sighs> Time for the pens. And then, oh my goodness, I don't even wanna go through this. <laughs> Look at this. This is another reason why I decided not to buy pens this year. We're gonna have to go through the pens, but I won't take you guys with me through that. I will do that on my own. The pens that I don't use, or the, all right. I have a cigar box that I keep all of my unused pens, which is where I go once I finish the current ones that I'm using. Cause you guys know I only use a couple at a time. So we're gonna go through those pens and put them in the cigar box, figure out which ones are in line to use next. Um, and I'm gonna figure out and put some of these things away. I'm gonna wait on the empty journals cause I wanna take you guys in there and kind of show you what journals I have that are unused. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna clean up here. I've shown you everything that I've pulled out and then, oh, here's another post-it thingy. And then we will, I'll come back and show you some more if you're interested. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so here's where we're at at the moment. I did, so I, I found this. It was over on the shelf. It was full of the Tombow and mild liners that I'm not currently using. So I emptied those out and this is what the bag looks like nice and organized. I did decide to use these. One of them has my Tombow and mild liners that I'm no longer using. The other one has Posca pens. Um, and I organized this for my Hobonichi and my planning. These are all the Tombows and mild liners that I will be using probably winter and spring, and then I'll change things out. I do have some tarot decks in here, but these are the ones that I really want to think about moving into for spring. So that was kind of sneak peek. Um, there are two decks in here that I'm playing with to see, but currently, oh my gosh, that may not work. I had this in there and now it's all like coming apart. These are my oil pastels. I love them. My husband got them for me last year for Christmas. Um, I had a whole Sandy Heaster, Hester, Sandy Hester um, inspired year and used a lot of oil pastels. Currently I am feeling all the watercolor vibes. So I will probably need to actually stand these up. <sighs> lay, lay them flat, I mean. Okay, so we are missing a couple. Gonna have to dig into the bottom of the bag again. All right. Now, what I plan on doing next is now that almost the things, like all the things are put away, I will show you this. So I put my word of the year book in this bag. 
I store all my journals for the year in one bag. So all of 2023 will go in here. This goes upstairs in the master bedroom for where I put, where I store all my journals, where I archive them. So that goes upstairs and I'm gonna clean up the oil pastels and then I'm gonna dive into this next. This is my vintage case. I also have a vintage suitcase under the coffee table. It has dress up in it. This has a bunch of other art stuff. So maybe, should I take you into the, no, let's do this now. Let's just see what's in here and then I will organize it. Okay, we have pens from my son-in-law, my, my daughter and son-in-law. He makes and buys me the coolest pens. And so I like to keep them in there safe. Um, this one is one of my favorites. It's a, I believe it's the glass, it's a glass dip pen. I love using it, my hands get all inky, but look at how pretty. He's gotten me two glass ones. One of them is actually in with my fountain pens, but I love these so much. So that will go back in there safe and sound. What is up with all the knitting needle stuff? That's like the second. I do knit, but not that much. You'd think the fact that there's, they're everywhere that I would be a knitter. Okay, I made this out of the Peerless watercolors to go in my um, standard. I wanna keep this, I'm actually gonna move it to this bag and put behind the Peerless. Oh, it doesn't fit. I'm gonna put it in the bag because I wanna keep it, I just don't use it. All right, then we have some sketchbooks. One of these is blank. She needs to go back up with the blank, yep. This is a blank. This one is just a messy, messy, messy that I was working in in 2022. I think it's a Rhodia. I was not a big fan. It doesn't take watercolor well. So I have to decide what to do with that. All right. Then we have soul collage. I used to be really into soul collage. I have blank cards here. Then I have the ones that I actually did. Maybe I should look through these. I haven't looked at these in forever. I did quite a few of them though, and it was fun. Oh, I love that one. I might, I might have to look through these. But the soul collage usually stays in there. All right, and then we have, we have stamps and a stamp pad. Um, Disinfectant wipes. A lot of these are things that I would take to Art Lockdown. Tissues. All right, the stamps. I think I wanna put the stamps in this bag so that I know they exist and can actually use them. Let me see if I can find a good, it's getting full. All right, there we go. All right, then we have Parker Quink Flow, these. Um, go to one of my ballpoint pens. I have a few of them. I have a pen, a pencil that my son made me when he was little. It's adorable. So memories. What? I seriously don't knit that much, you guys. Lots of pencils that I'm going to move out of here. Oh, another really cool pen that my son-in-law got me. And it's actually got a stand. Look at that. So cute. Yeah, we're cleaning all this up because a lot of this stuff is not going to stay in here. Soul collage covers, a soul collage pamphlet for how to do soul collage. We've got clippies and a bunch of happy planner rings that I never ever use because I cannot stand rings. Oh, we got this really cool little free people um, dish that somebody gifted me. I got a little Buddha. I like to keep sacred items in all my things. So like I've got the crystal that stays in the art bag. <sighs> Grandbaby. Okay, we've got random dry erase marker and paper mate flare. 
random things that need to be cleaned out. Okay, then we have, I do have some watercolors that will last me forever because I have them in my Jane Davenport in like a little tin. Um, this is the Turner Artist Watercolor Mars Violet. Um, I'm not even gonna pronounce that. It's a gold and then olive green. And then I do have this Golden Artist um, Titan Mars Pale that is acrylic. I was playing with acrylic specifically with portraits. I will keep this because um, I do occasionally find myself going back there. Now we're gonna get all the happy planner things. All right, so I've got a random card for acrylic, which I don't use anymore. Pencil, this needs to go with the fountain pens. Okay, now I'm gonna put this back in. I'm gonna put the soul collage stuff back in because I do wanna keep those. Um, my awesome, amazing pens. So they're safe and sound in there. It looks so much neater already. My refills for the ballpoint. What else? And the clippies. Clippies. And I think that's everything that I'm gonna put in there. Okay, I'm gonna go put more of this stuff away, get the pastels out of the bag and put it back where it goes. And then we'll do a final recap. Okay, my studio shelf is all cleaned out. Love how it looks. We got my typewriter, some magazines for collage, an organized art bag now, an organized art um, vintage case, washi, oil pastels, and then my light for YouTube. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys this. This is my son's art <laughs> art basket. Um, he is very into acrylic and actually does large paintings. So, and then we got books and grandbaby stuff. Yeah, I feel accomplished already. Now, the hard part. We got to attack the journal cabinet. Okay, here's what we're working with so far. All of my B5 or composition larger notebooks are over here, unused. These are my A5 or below, unused, with covers that are waiting. For instance, I have one that I love for spring that I'll be diving into with my spring journal. Um, favorite tequila, sitting right there, saving it for a special, special time. Um, look how gorgeous that bottle is too, by the way. Let me see if I can, gorgeousness. Yeah, okay. What I'm working with now is all these extra bags. I actually moved the, um, and yeah, I know it's dirty in there, but I keep my incense in there too, so it gets all incense-y. Um, I removed this from my Hobonichi and used another one with a band that's actually a Happy Planner and it has like animal print on it. Here's another Happy Planner one with the band. I love these. Okay, I'm gonna work on the bags, then move on to incense and candles granddaughter's natural play-doh over there. Ah, I'm getting, getting tired, but it's coming together. Okay. It may still look messy to some people, but it is definitely organized. All right. So again, we have composition size B5 over there, everything A5 and below, plus all the bags. So if I pull this out, you've got the empty journals, the empty zipper bags and pen cases, and then my fountain pen stuff. This is also sitting over at my candles. I like to keep a backup of my favorite candles, so that, that's my stock <laughs> waiting to be used. And on top of it, I have my ink samples for my fountain pens, all the fountain pen ink, the Goulet pen wash, Back there is the fountain pens themselves in two cases. Um, this ashtray is very sentimental. It came from my grandfather, so I always keep that with my art stuff. He was an artist. Um, and then we have incense for all the witchy work that I do. 
And yeah, so I'm gonna put these back on top of there and have a little chat with you before I sign off. That felt so good. And I just wanted to hop on before I left just to say some of us don't have a studio space. Me, for instance, I choose, we do have an extra room that we have set up as a gym, as a gym space. So I'm choosing to have that as a gym space, not as a studio space or an office. We all have different priorities, but even if you don't have a room of your own, even if you live in a small space, I bet if you think about it, I bet you have studio spaces where you keep your things. Even if it's just a laptop case at the end of your coffee table, even if it's just one drawer in your kitchen or a cabinet. For me, I have these three spaces that I keep my art, my journaling, my writing stuff, and that's a cabinet for journals and writing stuff and fountain pen stuff and candles. Like that's part of my studio space. I have a shelf that has collage stuff and art stuff and a typewriter. And then I have my couch bag that is everyday journals, planners, the current book I'm reading, the pens I'm interested in, the watercolors. So I encourage you to sit with the question, where are your spaces and how can you better organize? How can you simplify and um, create your own more minimalistic spaces. Thank you, Burgess, for inspiring this video. Thank you for inspiring me. Also, I'm totally digging the braids. It might be a new thing. <laughs> Anyhow, until next time, you guys, enjoy your wild, sexy lives.